everyone, this is Cricket Song with Lunar Wisdom, and this video is going to be answering the question, what is the difference between a self-dedication and an initiation? It is through YouTube and other social media channels that allows me to offer my support to other pagans such as yourself within our community. If you would like to be a part of that community, you can support me, Cricket Song, and Lunar Wisdom by clicking the link to my Patreon page and read more about the benefits and rewards that you'll receive by pledging your support. So we're going to talk about <clears throat> the difference between what a self-dedication is and what an initiation is because from my perspective there is definitely a difference between the two so a self-dedication is when you personally dedicate yourself to a concept to a practice to a way of life to a person, whatever it is that you are focusing your time, your energy, and your intention on. You are saying this, fill in the blank, is important to me and I am going to be sort of vowing or promising to spend time and energy and emotion on this particular thing. When I had my online and my in-person coven, there was a moment or a time in the beginning of uh, the relationship with the new student or the new seeker or the new dedicant where we would hold a right, a self study, a self dedication right or a uh, study dedication right depending on you know which was it in person or online and that is when there would be promises exchanged between teacher and student saying that I promise to be your teacher to guide you and the student saying I promise to dedicate my time and energy to this to my studies and at that point, that's when the sort of timer or the calendar started to count down the year and the day. So it was, or it, it is a formal statement. You know, like when you start an exercise routine, you, you know, make an announcement or on the Whole30, they suggest you make an announcement that I am starting my Whole30 today so you can be accountable to yourself and to you know others or people can support you it's a similar idea that you within your group whether it's an online group or an in-person group are making this announcement making this vow that I am taking this study seriously I am committing myself to this an initiation is also a commitment, but it is or was started with the idea within the craft that only a witch can make a witch. So an initiation is when you are formally welcomed into an established group. And again, it's, it's a formal ritual, just like our dedication ritual was, so is an initiation. It's a rite. It is done within magic circle. We also did dedications within magic circle as well. But just the word itself, just the word initiation is when one person becomes a member of a group that is the idea of an initiation it's symbolic of the death and rebirth it's dying or or releasing or letting go of your old ways 
so that you can become one with the others in the new ways. And within a Wiccan structure or a, or a witchcraft structure, there is this communion that is done. There is a welcoming. You are now a member of this coven. When you do it, when you do a dedication, or when we did a dedication ritual, there was, you know, you are now a seeker. You are now a dedicant of this coven, and you may or may not become a full member. But at this time, we welcome you within the outer circle because not everybody was part of the outer circle. Dedicants were part of the outer circle initiated members were part of the inner circle because there were things that were revealed to inner members they took vows of of an oath of secrecy they took an oath of um, initiation there were certain things that they were privy to because they were full members of the group and the dedicants the outer circle who were dedicated, who went through their ritual, their dedication ritual, were privy to other information that even non-members and non-dedicants were not privy to. It was almost like, you know, there are things that you tell your family members, but you would not tell a stranger. It's sort of that idea. The other thing I, I just wanted to point out with initiation, an individual, even though they had been dedicated and they were a dedicant for a year and a day and it came time for their initiation there were steps that were still done to ensure that this person was ready for an initiation part of that step or or one of the steps during an, the interview that they had with the coven council which was made up of initiated members of the count of the coven they were asked a series of questions about their time in, as a dedicant. And one of the questions really talked about the initiation that they experienced between the all, the loyalty and the Lord and themselves. And if the individual did not experience a personal initiation, if they did not experience a personal calling, that they were called to be a witch. They were awakened to their potential, that they knew this is what they were. They were a witch, they were Wiccan. If they didn't have that moment, if they weren't able to verbalize that in some way, then we did not do the formal coven initiation because the formal coven initiation was a representation of what transformation already happened within them. And it had to happen within them first, as within, so without. And even though it may be difficult for someone to verbalize what that moment was as initiated witches, because we had already had a similar personal experience, we can recognize that within someone else. Now, this did not mean that they did not continue time as a dedicant. Sometimes they would continue time as a dedicant because that moment the god and goddess did not call them, it was not meant to be at that time, did not mean that it wasn't going to happen for them in the future. But that was for the council to determine, depending on the other questions and how, you know, their experience that they had with us for that year and a day. That's all I have to say about the difference between a self-dedication and an initiation. Until next time, I love you. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or any other social media platform. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This way you won't miss any of my newly uploaded videos. Be sure to connect with me on Facebook through my Cricket Song fan page 
or my Lunar Wisdom business page. And you can always find me on my website at www.lunarwisdom.net.